Hey pretties, it's Blair again. It's been forever since I've done a video. Um, I won't bore you with too many excuses, but I've been moving house, which is very exciting. Um, so I've been super, super occupied with that. But I am going to show you today some makeup I got for Christmas. Uh, my sister and I put in a big Mac order. Um, and before I get started, I might just tell you what happened because you might be able to fill me in. Um, my sister wanted to get a 15 eyeshadow palette from the Mac Pro store, which was going to cost $180. Um, that was off the US store online. Um, so she picked all the colors and everything, and then we found out that they don't ship to Australia, which I find odd, but so we couldn't do that. Um, I Then I was in Brisbane a while after that. I spoke to the girl at the Mac store there, and she said that you could call up the pro store in Sydney um, and order over the phone, pay by credit card and get it sent out like that. So that was fine. Um, my sister Kirby called and they said it would cost, I think, I'm pretty sure it was $403 for the eyeshadow palette. So more than double the price that it was going to cost from the state. So we ended up um, making to make it worth our while, put in this huge Mac order, got it sent to a sort of distant relative of ours in the States who then brought it over at Christmas time. So what I'm wondering is, is there an easy way to do that? Because it was a lot of fussing about and just, it ended up taking ages. Um, but yeah, I was unsure as to why there'd be such a big price um, disparity, but Maybe one of you guys will know or maybe it will remain a mystery. But anyway, we got our order, which is awesome. So I'll show you what I got. Um, I got a four eyeshadow palette. This color is Copper Plate. This is Omega. This is Cement. And this is Plumage, which I've been looking for for ages. Um, so I'll just give you... Actually, that's pretty good. Plumage is a really deep, dark, um, teal sort of colour. This is copper plate. It's a really nice grey, really nice for a smoky eye. Um, that one's a mega. It's a pretty neutral colour for my skin tone, good for just a base before you put on uh, the rest of your eyeshadow. And that is concrete. So they're the eyeshadows I've got. I've actually got um, plumage and copper plate on now, but I went to lunch with my boy outside and it's creased and faded. So probably not the best indicator, but that's that. I also got two blushes, a powder blush in Fleur Powder. Fleur Power, sorry. F-L-E-U-R. It's quite a bit darker than it looks on screen. Yeah, that's not the best indicator. But anyway, that's really beautiful. It's a really nice dusty pink, I would say. Um, I also got Posy. This one's a cream blush. And it's pretty close to, to the powder one, actually. And I haven't used this much because, like I said, I've been moving. So I haven't really been um, doing much makeup lately. I've been just walking around the house pretty feral, to be honest. Just painting furniture and getting organised and stuff. So... Makeup's taking a bit of a back seat, but I do have all this exciting stuff to play with, which is good. Uh, Prep and Prime powder. I have a weird aversion to powdering my face. I don't really like to do it, uh, but I've heard such good things about this that I thought I'd give this a try. Um, I also got a new uh, eyebrow crayon in Spiked because I would probably literally die without this. I'm not even joking. Um, so I'll just, I've got it on now on my eyebrows, obviously. It's a really dark, dark neutral brown. What else? Ah, oh, two gorgeous lipsticks. Um, I got this one in Rebel. This is a satin, a satin finish, I guess it is. And that is what the colour looks like. So it's sort of a hot pink, but it's a little bit more purple. Um, and just for interest sake, I wear um, NYX Hot Pink Lip Liner with that, which isn't actually too good of a colour match, but it works when you've got it on. I put the lip liner all over. 
I also got Lady Danger, which I love. It's amazing. It's matte, but being matte, it is not dry. I wore this out to like on a, a night out, was drinking and stuff, and it stayed on perfectly. I think I reapplied once or twice in about oh, six hours, but only because I just like to put it on. It didn't even need it. It was really, really good. So that's what the colour looks like. It's a it's a really orange red, really bright. It's just beautiful. So that's that, and I wear that with NYX orange lip liner so that is that okay I've just got two more things and I put lady danger on to show you what it looks like on the lips my lips aren't in the best condition at the moment but still feels really nice um Illamasqua I've been looking online at Illamasqua stuff for so long also oh do they I don't know if the Illamasqua site does ship to Australia Anyway, uh, also when I was in Brisbane, I went to Brisbane with my boyfriend. He was at a conference. I just was walking around shopping for hours by myself. It was torture. No, I'm kidding. It was amazing. Um, I was in Maya and just on my way out of Maya, out of the cosmetics department, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the Illamasqua counter and I literally gasped. Here's me walking by myself. And I, oh my gosh, I saw it. And it was so silly. Like it I made a huge deal out of it because I was just so shocked to see it. I didn't even know that there were any Illamasqua stores in any form in Australia. So that was cool. Um, and I got uh, the Illamasqua Satin Primer, um, which obviously you just put on your skin before foundation. Use instead of uh, moisturizer. Uh, so what this does, it and it's also um, SPF... I think it's 30, SPF 30, which is awesome because that's, um, I use an SPF 30 moisturizer too. So if I'm not going to use the moisturizer, I still want some sun protection. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I've just put it there. You can a tiny bit. It just gives your foundation a dewy effect, which is really nice. Um, also from the... Um, Illamasqua counter at Rubina. Um, I got this amazing lipstick. It's called Disciple, and I think it was a limited edition with the what would it have been summer autumn range 2011 or something. And it is the most gorgeous color. That came out really well on camera. Actually, that's pretty much that's exactly the color it is. Now. I wore this out a couple of weeks ago and I'll give it another try before I before I make up my mind but I found it quite dry. Um, I used, I think I ended up using a, a black, no sorry, a navy or midnight blue or whatever um, eyeliner as a lip liner to just try and stop it from bleeding. So maybe that had something to do with it, the fact that I used an eyeliner on my lips. Um, maybe my lips just weren't in the best condition, but I will try this again because I just absolutely love the colour. I'm so excited to use it in some photographs or something. I think it'll be so beautiful. It are just those few new things that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I've shown you or would like a more in-depth uh, review on anything let me know also if any of you guys can shed some light <clears throat> on um, ordering Mac Pro online like I spoke about at the beginning of the video please let me know or if you've had to do a similar thing to get it here I'm really intrigued as to why they don't ship to Australia I'm not sure and I found a couple of the other um, Sephora.com don't ship to Australia either um, I know a lot of the, the YouTube girls that I like to watch from the States always talk about Sephora and I want to want in on that, um, uh, but they don't ship to Australia. So, uh, maybe they will eventually, I'm not sure, but anyway, that's it for now. Um, I will try and get some more videos up soon. I want to get back into this. Um, so if you would like to see anything in particular, let me know. And if not, I will see you guys in the next video soon. Bye.